AMS recently installed this XL220 control system on this Engel Industries ductwork machine. The AMS system ties the individual components of the machine together and includes a single operator interface for data entry and line control. Orders can be manually entered at the controller or they can be downloaded from a CAD program using Eclipse, which eliminates data entry completely and the mistakes that may go with that. Depending on the machine, some manual adjustment may still be required. Some angle machines have pairs of TDF and drive cleat notchers. In the program, you'll select which pair you want to use for the job. Once the orders are entered, the controller sets up the hole punches, pin spotter targets, and the position of the brake for the first bend, automatically and prior to a run. The controller supports hole punching for stiffeners, even though this machine does not have that option. The AMS system will back the material up and notch the lead edge so that zero scrap is produced at the beginning of a new coil. It is also capable of performing a double notch to create a notch size larger than the tool itself. The system monitors the part as it travels along the transfer tables and into the edge bending machines. The AMS retrofit package includes controls for the insulator and pin spotter. Since this machine doesn't have them, the material runs directly into the closed loop full wrap brake. For these new retrofits, we include a new amplifier and servo motor to position the back gauge prior to each bend. Also included were duplicate start-stop switches so the operator can run the line from this point and not have to walk back to the main operator's console every time he wants to restart the mill. Using Eclipse to download orders from your CAD system, you can keep the machine running by constantly having orders at the controller. In return, production data is sent back to the PC for reporting and improving production. Without Eclipse, this user-friendly controller can be manually programmed on the shop floor. It asks simple questions like quantity, type, height, width, lock size, velocity, connector. Once those values are entered, the controller does the rest. In this case, the operator is running out blanks for the plasma table. Again, this design included a set of start-stop switches at the conveyor so the operator does not have to run back to the main cabinet to start and stop the mill. Using the XL220 control system along with the Eclipse or HVAC, you can take your orders directly from a CAD system, import them into Eclipse, schedule them down to the controller, and run production with a record of everything that happened at the line. If you have an Engle machine and you're in need of a retrofit control system, please contact AMS Controls 